Hello YouTubers, here is a uh, June 10th update. I now have eight um, pepper plants. These are all started from seeds and they all now are in the garden. A little close together but there's a reasoning for that. Supposed to, if you go by square foot gardening you're supposed to be a foot apart but this wasn't supposed to be here. It is a pepper uh, um, potato plant and next to it same thing so let me move over there see so we're gonna keep them there last year like my other update I said they ended up spreading out so this year what I'm thinking of doing is I think um, Ray at Praxis well I forget his whole uh, website but he had um, gotten a barrel Sorry about the shaking, my hand shaking. Um, he got a barrel from someone, I think it was MI Gardener, and it's like a five gallon pail cut down the side, and it was, I think it was for tomatoes. But I think he said he could do potatoes too, and what I'm thinking of doing is, since they're getting pretty tall, is getting a um, bucket, doing kind of like Ray did, a little modification to it, and then putting it around both of these plants, and then building them up. We'll see how it goes. Uh, okay, part two. Um, card was full. And I <laughs> had to delete some stuff. Anyway, it is a little dry. i got to water these. These are four tomato plants. Don't ask me what they are because when I uh, fired them, um, transplanted them from the smaller cup to like those plastic cups, uh, stupid me, I forgot to mark what they were. So I probably have like two or three different varieties here um, and they're all planted deep along with these peppers as you can see they're quite quite low to the ground they're not like raised um, bush method but they are planted deep for a little better root hopefully that works and um, I don't know if I can get that close but this was grown indoors and if you look closely you can see the little buds let me see right here Mind you, whoop, camera strap, they were grown indoors under fluorescent lights, regular fluorescent lights, actually the daylight variety, um, 6500 looms or whatever. Anyway, so going back, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with these guys, mound them up or put the pail around them. There is an onion there, it looks like another one there, did not plant them this year, they're coming up, and then somewhere right back there that little green speck that is another one of these I dug around tiny little ball in there um, well, it looks like a squirrel is eating a nut in there anyway so I got a little room here I don't know what I'm going to plant I got some celery I got to get going uh, I am running so far behind now I didn't get my carrots planted or anything so I got to get those going and see how these guys do I'm going to have to cage them up somehow maybe go like right down the sides and have them come up that way instead of individual cages but so that's it for uh, Sunday I gotta get these things watered and then go inside and get ready to get to bed go to work 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 unless of course it hit Powerball on Wednesday and then I won't have to work 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 <laughs> anyway thanks for watching uh, this is DJ move it moving on out see ya